And here comes the era of thermometers based on electrical principles. The RTDs and thermocouples. RTDs are resistance-based sensors that are capable of measuring temperature since there's a relationship between the change of temperature and the change of resistance. If we apply a voltage to a PD100 sensor, there will be a current moving through the platinum film. Changes in temperature will modify how current moves through this film. Imagine you're in the middle of a concert. Left you by the and in the best part, you have to go to the bathroom. Well, if you're in a chilling concert, like Nora Jones, people will be quite still and it will be easy to go through with little resistance. But let's turn the temperature up and imagine we have smells like Teen Spirit from Nirvana. The same operation of going to the bathroom will be much more difficult since you will not be able to go through the crowd so easily and there will be much more resistance. RTD temperature measurement obey the same principle. At cold temperatures, the atoms of platinum move much less. So the resistance value of the sensor decreases with lower temperatures. RTD sensors are really stable and accurate, but they have one limitation. They don't work well above 600 degrees Celsius. Actually, for applications above 400 degrees, the common practice is to use thermocouples. A thermocouple is one, if not the simplest, of sensors used in measurement of any parameter, not only temperature. It's made of two metallic wires from different alloys joined at the end. If you expose one side to a higher temperature, a phenomenon called the Seebeck effect starts, and a small voltage is produced due to the electromagnetic force produced by the temperature gradient. The voltage value will depend on the alloys used in the thermocouples. The type K thermocouple is the most common and the cheapest type there is, with wires in chromel and alumel. But there are thermocouples in platinum and rhodium that are able to withstand temperatures up to 1600 degrees Celsius. So what about the scale? For RTDs and thermocouples, there are tables that relate the resistance or voltage value to temperature. Fortunately, you don't have to take your calculator and do the math. Plants use this. Temperature transmitters that have these tables and equations stored and is able to deliver the temperature value right in the field or send it to the control room with a protocol that you prefer. Okay, but what if we want to get hotter or we want to measure the temperature of medium that we cannot touch? You can't touch this. In this case, we use infrared sensors like the one in this thermal camera. In this case, the sensor is measuring the thermal or infrared radiation. Max Planck described the radiation law that explains the relationship between the wavelength of electromagnetic wave and the temperature of the emitting body. Above 525 degrees Celsius, every black body will glow. This is called the Draper point. And the hotter the object gets, the more it would glow. And if you remember our platinum video, you may see that pure platinum was glowing when it was melted or when it was being hammered into a lingot. And if I could hit a piece of platinum at to approximate 720 degrees Celsius, I will see that platinum will be emitting a wavelength of 611 nanometers. And I love this wavelength because it's the wavelength that corresponds to the Visaya orange. So the next time you think at what wavelength we travel, I can tell you is 611 nanometers. Thank you for watching. Till next time.